Okay, so you learned a lot about geometric shapes, and you seem pretty cut out for it. Pun was intended there. All right, so we're going to focus on organic shapes. Organic shapes are shapes that are found in nature. Shapes like puddles, uh, shapes like trees. They're pretty basic, broken down abstract shapes, but they're organic. They look like either something you'd see when you take a nature walk. Um, and it's something really important to learn in Adobe Illustrator. It's a little bit more challenging, but take your time, listen, be patient, but importantly, practice in your own Adobe Illustrator document. With the shape tool of drawing out an organic shape, you're gonna need to use your good old friend, the pen tool. And the shortcut for the pen tool is you guessed it, P. So I'm going to go ahead and hit P. And I'm going to make sure that I have the right colors that I want for it. Now, since we're enclosing the lines, I'm going to need a fill because we're working on shapes now. I'm going to hit X. I've got my fill. I'm going to go ahead and give my fill a color by double clicking on it. Let's go with a tint of green. All right, hit OK. And then I'm going to hit X. Let's give it a nice blue contrasting color. There we go. I can click on my swatches there because X, remember, switched it over to my stroke. Or you can go up here if you want to. Totally up to you. All right. Now I got to go to the pen tool. I'm in the pen tool. We've got my fill and stroke. I'm ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and throw down an anchor point by putting my pen to the pad. And there we go. We've got our first anchor point. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my second anchor point. Now look, kids, this is familiar to you. I made a straight line or a regular line. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue on. I have a fill, so things are about to change. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. There's my fill. And I'm drawing my shape. There we go. And then what's really important, I'm going to zoom in. Watch what happens when we make our complete shape. You'll see next to the pen is a circle. This is my last point that I clicked. This is the first point that I clicked to start my shape off. You'll see that it makes a pen with a circle. It's really important to make sure you click on that anchor point that you, that's right here where the pen is a circle, otherwise it'll be a mistake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click and you'll notice that anchor point turns into one anchor point. I'm gonna zoom out. And I'm just going to make my stroke weight just a little bit larger so you can see it a little bit better. Control Shift A. I made my first organic shape. Looks a little geometric for my liking, so I'm going to add some curves to it. Let's hit P for pen tool. Click, click. Now I'm going to click and drag. Then I'm going to click again. Notice how it, it curves out after I click and drag. Watch. It curves. So I click, click. So if you want to solve that curving issue so it doesn't curve again, I'm just going to go to that last anchor point that I clicked on. Make sure you're on the anchor point, not the handles. Click that last anchor point, then make it straight. Click and drag. Click and drag. Click that last anchor point to make it straight. There we go. Click. And then go to the first anchor point, and you'll see a pen with the circle. Make sure you click on it. Let's just make sure I got it. And I did. There's that one single anchor point. That means it's enclosed. Okay, delete that. It's kind of creeping me out. All right, now I'm going to go back to the pen tool. I'm going to make sure that I cover all my bases here by letting you know what's right and what are some issues that people have in order to get those fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my organic shape. Okay, you want to make sure that you don't cross the streams. We want to make it clean. We're learning the organic shape. We want to make sure this doesn't happen. I call that crossing the streams. Those of you who like Ghostbusters will know the reference. I hit Control Z to undo. Then I'm just continue clicking. Okay. One of the other issues that I have when people are uh, finished with their lines is that when I hit Control Shift A, they're like, "Yeah, I finished, Mr. F. This is really cool. I love organic shapes." But then you look, and then they didn't get the enclosure, the pen with the circle from the last point they made to the first point. So yeah, wow, wow. That's wrong. So I'm going to hit Control Z just a couple times just so you can get an idea. 
Another thing that people do is also, I'm gonna just gonna click this last anchor point just to make sure I'm on it, is that they'll go like this. Oh yeah, I'm right near there. There's a pen with a circle and then they, their hand slips or something and they go, oh. But they're like, I did it, Mr. F, it looks good. And then I'm like, well, there's something a little bit off here. That looks like it didn't get enclosed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select it and then I'd zoom in and I take a look and that one anchor point is now two. It should be one. We're looking and so that's an issue. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Go to the pen tool, just click on that last point. Make sure that remember that pen has a circle so it's enclosed, okay? And you can see that now, bam, that is one anchor point, okay? You can get a little bit more fancier once you learn the organic shape tool. You can start drawing out things like uh, candy canes or socks. Um, have some fun, experiment once you've learned the organic shape to try um, you know, challenging yourself with some fun things to draw. Okay, so I just changed my fill and stroke. A um, Couple ways to do that. And I'm gonna draw a candy cane. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and click, click, click that last anchor point, click that curve that, click that last anchor point. It's not perfect, but you know, you kind of get the idea. So you're working with, you're working with the shape tool. You're working to make an organic shape and you're having fun with it. And it's, like I said, I just wanna make this a really fun learning experience. So take your time. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Control plus, go here to the enclosure, pen with a circle, click on that last anchor point. Let's just double check to make sure that I did that correctly. Hit control A to select it. It looks like it's selected, we're good. And there's my candy cane. And then you could also have some fun with um, drawing in little enclosed Click that last anchor point, pen with a circle, and then you could change that fill and have some fun with it, okay? Um, and feel free to draw stuff. If you're not very into holiday stuff, feel free to draw other things as well. A lot of fun. Um, you know, this is a great way to learn um, Adobe Illustrator and organic shapes, okay?